Earlier this year, President Biden signed into law the Inflation Reduction Act, which made significant investments in climate solutions and environmental justice. Senator Hassan, there were some compromises in this bill, like potentially extending the life of coal plants and requiring gas and oil leasing in order for new wind and solar projects to be approved. So will you work to repeal those parts of this new law and what else would you push for in future climate legislation? Well, this was the biggest investment in transitioning to a clean energy economy that we have ever made in the United States of America. And when I travel around New Hampshire, people talk to me about how concerned they are about the changing climate. Businesses on the seacoast are seeing sea level rise. That's why some of the work we did in the bipartisan infrastructure bill to help communities deal with that is so important. It's why uh, that in that bipartisan infrastructure bill we included a resilient clean energy grid so we can begin that transition to energy independence getting away from dependence on big oil. Um, the provisions that you talked about are provisions that uh, we need to examine carefully because it is going to be important as we transition to this clean energy economy, taking advantage of American innovation that's already there and just scaling it up, uh, that we are able to do this quickly. The plan here is to reduce carbon emissions by about 40% by 2030. And again, this is about lowering people's costs. Um, I'm also happy to talk about some of the things in that bill that help people with their energy costs right now. General Boldick, uh, what climate provisions in this bill do you agree with? And what specifically would you do to slow climate change? I don't even agree with the bill. The bill was a tax increase on, on middle class. It was a tax increase on every energy aspect. You know, it's funny. She, she's just been talking, you know, telling everybody that I'm, you know, uh, you know giving uh, tax increases and all this other stuff that I'm not giving to uh, the petroleum industry. Well, she just admitted she voted on a bill that does just that, right? So. Come on, it's career politician, tactical double talk, right? I mean, it's back and forth, back and forth. You can't, you can't pin her down on anything because this bill was a disaster, along with the 87,000 ISR agents in the other bills that she's passed, 5.2 trillion bills. You know what that did to people's savings accounts? It took $2 trillion out of American savings accounts. This is what her omnibus bill, infrastructure bill, Inflation Reduction Act, giving money back to students has done to Granite Staters. It has hurt them.